Hajo Henesias Kilhuni, Nertamas, the Pinuli Roy Loga, Agazan the Dorbusha, Gulior Skill on the Sahlipishin, Agus, Sunomont Homa. This is the Butts part of Kilkenny. There's an old saying here years ago you walk through Kilkenny, you run through the Butts. When we moved in from Three Castles, we lived down in Dean Street, just down the road here. So this was the stamping ground for my youth between handball and hurling. I'd say every young lad around this part of Kilkenny played handball. They were always interested in hurling, but handball was their first love. And if you didn't have any on, would you? You'd be hitting the hurling ball up against the wall, and if there was someone else here, you played handball. I mean, you don't need any on with you. you can, the ball keeps coming back to you. And you can pr improve on your weaker, weaker side. Left or right, it just keeps coming back to you. No lazy man of being in a handball alley. You have to work hard, you use every muscle, every ounce of energy you have. And when you come up against a good man and you're trying to beat him and he's trying to hammer you, it's down to the last game. And it's man to man up to the last days. I mean, there's nothing can beat that. But I loved the game of handball and I played up to the time of 16. And then when I made the Kenny Minor team, I gave up the handball then on the hurling finished up. But I loved it and I'd still play it. Joe Hennessy cutting it up. Hug Joe I at foot in the Galliva, a Vitako Lodger. I guess beyond Hyvelin Theatre, and Lido Gotouche, I guess enough to shock. We would have won the league final of 86 against Galway, and um, great game in Torres. Always a great game when you win, of course. But anyway, meeting Torres again in the All Ireland semi final, and from the start, the minute the ball was thrown in, Galway ran us off the pitch. Paddy Prendergast, no marking at all. Joe Hennessy quite unmarked for just a moment at least. I think all we used that day, they took out the corner forward, Pierce Piggott, and they left a the two-man full forward line inside, and we were induced to this at all. This was new in Ireland, and uh, things got, went from bad to worse. They could score the goal and then got another one, and the buzz of the crowd, the noise and the buzzing in your ear from one goal to another, and we never got to grips with it. On Vlian Dargion and Nidia got two shacht, we kill Hunya Firemach, August Fon deal to set up. We're delighted to be in the final again, of course, and uh, we had a great chance to make up for the previous year, but um, um, we got chances in the game and we didn't take them. To put Kilkenny in front, and he's put it wide. Up towards the infinity, oh, it's a goal, no, it's not, stop by John Cummins. The few of the goal we got, they took him. Insurance score for Galway. Joe Cooney, hand pass to Ian Arad to no name, the shot, saved by Kevin Gates, the goal! It was a right good, tough match. People said to me after it was dirty, I didn't think it was dirty, a few heavy knocks both ways, one way or the other, and uh, I thought it was a great, tough, physical match, man to man, a great game to be involved in, I'd love to have won it. Oh, having a little, ah, 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 easy lad, easy, the referee, too proud of yourself. Peter Norvay, Joe, and him, Norbo Vu, Ach ni'n rhaid ansia si ar y diw, bod hwn y cefi gest. Rhaid y cop semi-final, Leinster vs Connacht in Ballinasloe. I was midfield and Sylvie was right half-back, I believe. And the game, maybe a quarter of an hour into it, held for later than usual. And the ball broke around midfield and uh, suddenly myself and Sylvie were clattering as hard as ever we could. The ball was going nowhere. And next thing, all of a sudden, for something happened, the hurls were dropped automatically. And next thing, myself and Sylvie were stuck in one another, box for box. I didn't realise till after someone told me he was the Connacht Junior Boxing Champion, which anyway, you learn as you go along. Rujo Hennessy, who we all star a jury on the diff rule, I guess three won the air on Lishna Kut. After her bar Lishna and a club Homa, come on, Hamish Diffon, no the village, Mara Hokter Rotterb. Mark Rusha Crave Club na Hayden for Ro and Hayt Yanakub in the Dyak Shachtu We were won the county final and our first game was against Buffer Zelly of Wexford down in Wexford Park and what a game it was. We were very lucky to come out of that game with a, a pint or two win. And then we progressed on then, won the Leinster final and went on to the All Ireland final. We'll be Mary Gimmer to in Aig Black Rock, Black Rock or Corky, I guess. Be sorry or Narfad egg Black Rock egg and Elm Shin. Um, the Joe Gimmer's in the last tussle, or do 
Octorish, Fihano made no Martian, Honig Share Ashkar in a lacool, a lacool, er, er, captain. Agus, Avi Sar, Sar Kleher, Fadiga, er, Fadiga Hagan Lashin. I would say that was the greatest victory I ever had on the field between underage hurling and playing with Kilkenny. I would say that was the greatest power I ever had, the most enjoyment I ever got. And we're the first team in Leinster to win the club all Ireland. And playing with all the your own men, the greats of all the, the village. In 1981 we won the county final and uh, we progressed on then to the Leinster Club Championship, lucky enough won that again and got into the final again in Turles and we came up against the great Mount Sign team of Waterford. We were nip and tuck all the way through and John McCormack scored three goals. We were ha very happy to come up with that with a win. Brother Damien gave me a, a contact me back, back in 2003 and he asked me would I be interested in being a minor selector with him. I was thrilled, answered the call, um, and uh, we progressed to the Dollar and final, won the final, had a fantastic final against Galway. Lucky enough, I fell our way by one point. in 2004, we got back to the final again. A draw with Galway, another great final. Um, we went on to Tullamore then in the replay, and Galway won a fantastic final by one point. Keen she rubbed the aim roaring, bed and a fecking Dina Ella. V tour me fell a hege, I guess. View a stock less is round a horn mahe, I guess, a pig and chain clear. You know, the young lads, they're only young lads and they have to make a start. Someone encouraged me and you try and bring that on to the next generation of others. I was not going to be a school at the end of the day, but I was going to be a school at the end of the day. I was going to be a school at the end of the day. We know nothing else from the time we were born. It's hurling, hurling, hurling. And that hasn't waned or changed. Or the new generation came up, has replaced the old generation. The enthusiasm is as good now. There's no better place to be. Come over here with a couple of friends and pick, pick your spot. But you, you wouldn't buy the entertainment to get here. You've done it all. Ni kapen gul nerd imrori hart nu ir imrori hart or will nerd mess ach er hunde satar Joe Hennessy. Ni dina ar nos a chei Joe reacher keig or vuje krevne hair nas tar skachrud machin lonli ta Joe marigen le sevisha nu ra hosig she. Ba. Leh e goni e kikunig, mar vinor, mar far shinsher, mar far club, mar emani le kikunig. So nam gar leh e goni, agus is leh ka vega on e goni e kikunig. The competitor is always there. If it was only a game of marbles or tossing the coin. You'd want to win it. It, it takes an awful lot to make a hurler, and um, you know you need to be patient, fierce determination. You have to have respect for the opponent. You have to be gracious in defeat and take the victories and be glad of them and shake hands and off you go and trying to win the next one. And you know life. I think it makes a man out of a man. I had it back again. I do the same, if not a little bit more, if I could, and win a little more if I could. As Joel Hennessy dances his way past tackles. 
I tell you something, I could split an apple on his forehead. Would you trust me for that? Let's go to the next one.